Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn for January 8th through January 20th. I'm going to be posting love readings soon, so if you're interested in that, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell because they'll be out pretty soon. I just finished the New Year's reading, so if you haven't checked out your New Year's reading, check those out on my video list. I also am going to have one more video out for you guys um, towards the end of January. The ultimate goal is to do bi-weekly readings, general, and then love readings once a month. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, I'm going to be uploading my website pretty soon. I'm working on it currently. It's going to be in this, the description box in the future. So, um, yeah, just keep checking my channel if that's something that you're inter interested in. Maybe you're interested in a personal reading or just to see what my services are and what I offer. Um, it'll be up pretty soon in the description box um, coming up here maybe in the next month or so. So I'll be letting you guys know. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. A little bit of astrology for you guys is you had a Mercury retrograde going through your second or your first and your 12th house, okay? Not your second house, your first and your 12th house. Right now, it is in your 12th house of addictions, uh, what's going on in your subconscious. Um, it's moved back and forth from your first and your 12th. So your first is your first house is the house of you, okay, how the world perceives you, how you carry yourself, your actual beliefs, you know, stuff like that, your physical body, and so it's moved between, you know, your 12th and your 1st, so maybe you have been thinking, rethinking the things you believe, okay, um, finding something out that you didn't realize that you were interested in, um, maybe you got, you've gotten more religious, uh, more spiritual, Yeah, so I just, I, I feel like with Capricorn, you guys have a lot of stellium of planets too when you're in your um, first house this month, okay? So you're going to have that Mercury stationing um, direct in your first house. Right now it's in your 12th house. It's going to be direct on the 20th. On the same day, um, the sun is going to change signs into the sign of Aquarius. Um, but right now the sun is in your sign, okay? This is your solar return. So you might be feeling a lot of things as far as like what it is that you really want and how you believe and perceive the world. Um, Mars is also in your first house and that's, that's the planet of, you know, ending, ending something. Um, it's a planet of, of aggression and it's the planet of action. So you might be feeling yourself on the go a lot right now and busy, um, a lot, a lot right now and busy and just really focusing on, you know, yourself and your health maybe because your first house opposes your sixth house. So, that's an energy that you might be feeling right now, okay? I'm going to get you guys, you guys' cards. If you haven't yet, hit the subscription bell or hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell. And um, so you don't uh, miss any future content. I'm going to be posting love readings here next week that I've been working on. They're going to be monthly love readings. And also, there's going to be one more bi-weekly reading posted um, towards the end of January, okay? Um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you again for being here and supporting my channel. Um, let's get started. So you have the chariot here, and it's clarified with the seven of pentacles. The chariot is somebody that gets through, just gets through anything um, without letting his emotions take over too much. Okay, he knows he has a job to do. He knows the universe has got him. He knows he can plummet through any challenge. And the universe is going to be there and protect him and, and guide him. And even if he's going really slow, he has somewhere to go and he has something to do and he has a mission. And he doesn't let his emotions like take over. Okay, and you, it's clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is watching your grapes growing finally after you know all the work that you put into planting them or watching your relationships grow as you've been putting the effort into them i feel like that's for some of you you're really watching things grow for you and um, you're getting very excited about it okay and it's making you want to push forward so you maybe have have been working on you know something and um whether that's relationships whether that's you know, your job, whether that's in your home, whether that's any type of any, anything that could be anything for anybody, 
You also have the hermit here and is clarified with the will of fortune. The hermit is the sign of, or the card of Virgo. So maybe you have Virgo in your chart or you know somebody that has Virgo in their chart. It is clarified with the will of fortune. So the hermit is going within for the answers. It's taking a break from the outside world and just quieting things, going to the top of a mountain and looking down so you can see things at, at a different perspective. And it's clarified with the will of fortune. And I feel like by you doing that, it's pushing you to your next phase in life. And you might be feeling that shift and that change. Um, and it might be something that you are just going inside to really figure out and really feel out. You have the temperance here and it's clarified with the temperance. <laughs> I just saw that. Okay, so the temperance is a sign of Sagittarius and I was telling you guys that the Mercury retrograde has been going back and forth from your 12th and your first. Well, your 12th house, it is ruled by Sagittarius, okay? And Sagittarius is ruler is um, Jupiter. So it's the planet of luck. So you might be feeling things shifting and changing and getting better for you guys. And I feel like you really are tapping into the patience that you need to get you to where you want to go. Okay. It's helping you to, you know, maintain that chariot energy of just, you know, plummeting through and get things, getting things done. But the fact that the temperance is clarified with the temperance, <laughs> it just shows me that maybe you're doing a lot of 12th house work. Okay. 12th house is like subconscious thoughts, um, old thought patterns that you need to just kind of purge and get rid of, um, so that you can, you know, be more mentally, um, able to show up for yourself. Uh, you might be working on your patience because of the work that you've been doing internally. You know that your goals are being accomplished or the things that you want for your life are being accomplished because of the patience that you are creating. And it's more of a becoming one with yourself, becoming one with yourself and your subconscious and what's going on in the background subconsciously. Okay. The nine of wands, um, the nine of wands here, and it's clarified with the nine of swords. So there's something that's temporary that's scaring you or worrying you or, um, creating anxiety, sleepless nights, nightmares. Um, and it might be some kind of trauma that you have not, pushed past or you have not worked through because the nine of wands here he is a gentleman that's extremely exhausted he is tired of all the work that he's done but he knows that he's not giving up now there's no way in hell that he is giving up after everything that he's been through and after all the things that he's seen okay he is not giving up because he knows that success is right around the corner he has bandages on him his head is wrapped um but he's not necessarily worried but the fact that it's clarified with a worried card just know that which is the nine of swords just know the nine of swords is temporary energy okay it's not going to last forever but you might be not being able to sleep or you might be worrying about you know something that has happened because the nine of wands he is very strong and he's you know been able to show up for everything in his life and get things done accordingly but he has some trauma Okay. And the 12th house is also the house of, um, subconscious working through trauma issues. So maybe that's something that you're doing right now. And you're really focusing on the things that trigger you. Um, maybe you might be doing 12th house work, subconscious work. The fact that this is lining up, uh, with your astrology, it just shows me that you're doing the work, you're putting in the work, and it's going to push you forward into success, okay? And you already see the success considering you have the chariot here, and it's clarified with the seven of wands. I'm going to get you guys an unshakable inner peace oracle card. If you haven't yet, like my video, share it. If you find anybody that... Um, will benefit from my channel. I would really appreciate it. You guys got, you can radically change your results by shifting your beliefs. What belief is limiting you? There's something, there's something behind the scenes that's limiting you because that's trauma work. Okay. 
coming from somebody that has actually done trauma therapy. It, there's something that's holding you back into, you know, getting the results that you want. Because what happens when you have trauma is you kind of go to a place in your life that feels familiar to what you're feeling at the moment. So that can be 15 years from now and you're already 30, right? But if you never learned the conflict resolution or to get through that or have actually learned to process that, what happens is when something similar to what happened when you were 15 happens at the age of 30, you go back to how you acted when you were 15 and you have no idea. You think that you've you know, push back past all these years and you should know and be all the more wiser, but coming from somebody that's been working through my own stuff, um, it's not always the case. Okay. Um, what we do is we, if we don't handle things and process things correctly, we kind of just learn how to show up rather than really be true to ourselves and do the work and create an actual, um, uh, conflict resolution for what's going on with you, you know, I apologize. I hope I'm not getting too personal, but I just really do feel like you're doing some background work and, um, you're noticing that it's, it's manifesting and it's, uh, becoming tangible results in your life. You're watching things grow around you because you're doing more internal work. Um, that's a really good thing. Okay. And I'm going to read about it for you. Are you looking for a quantum leap in, leap in your life? Radical advancement is possible when we shift into a higher vibration and tune into a new frequency. We do this by releasing old beliefs that no longer serve us. You've drawn this card because you have a belief pattern or habit that is no longer serving you. It is outdated and keeping you stuck. Our habits and beliefs help us during certain periods as we grow, so do our needs. I feel like you're letting something go, something that doesn't serve you anymore, something that you've always believed in, and you realize you're not going to take it into this next step of your life, okay? I'm going to get you guys an advice card. An advice card for the sign of Capricorn. Are you guys tired? Because I started feeling tired on this reading. That one really wants to come out. It is the two of wands. Picking a path. Which way do you want to go? Okay. Um, you might be uh, researching things. Schools, jobs, places to live, two relationships, two ways of thinking. Um, and really doing the research maybe in your mind on the internet. Um, with a therapist, uh, with a friend, with a family member. Just really researching and you know, going back and forth on ideas on how, on which way you want to go next. So, um, I feel like you're going to be coming to that conclusion here soon and, um, just really only sticking with the type of mentality and the type of ways of thinking that are going to benefit you for this next cycle and this next phase in your life, because some things are just outdated. And I think you see that. And I think that that's going to push you further and it's going to make you even stronger. Okay. Um, uh, if you haven't yet hit the notification bell, I'm going to be uploading another video for January. It's a general, and I'm also going to be uploading love readings as well. If you are interested in a personal reading, I'll be coming out with my website so you guys can check me out further. And, um, I'll let you guys know when those, when that, uh, website is available. It'll be in the description box. Okay. Until then, take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.